Hello everyone, so happy to have you guys back. Uh, we are again going to be doing some artwork uh, from home and I hope you are going to be excited because today this was inspired by one of my students who is absolutely in love with chameleons. Now the cool part about chameleons is that they constantly change color based on camouflaging and light. So today, I'm going to make a very colorful chameleon using simple shapes that we've used before, whether it's in numbers, letters, alphabet, uh, shapes, lines, all of that great stuff. We're going to use put all that together to create a beautiful chameleon. Now, I think the first thing you're going to probably notice is that my chameleon paper is different than all the other papers that I've been drawing. So before with like my popsicle stick from last time, this was vertical. As you can tell, the picture should really look like this, right? This is when our paper is standing tall like a tower. But today I want my paper to kind of lay like this, like it's taking a nap. Uh, this is called horizontal. So we're gonna use this because it's gonna give us more paper to create another scene. Now we did our first scene the other day with our bumblebees and our flowers. We're gonna do another scene today that maybe you can add, um, talk to your teachers about, talk to your friends, your family about, and create a little story for this chameleon. So I'm gonna get started. I think you're really gonna have a lot of fun. And after we're all done, I'm gonna put a YouTube link in Google Classroom on my YouTube page um, that can have you listen to The Mixed Up Chameleon. That's by Eric Carl, one of my favorite books, really silly, um, and I think you guys might enjoy that. So again, I'll put that link on the bottom and uh, we'll get started with drawing today. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make a head for our chameleon. Now this is going to look very similar to almost like the letter D, but it is not gonna be a finished letter D. So what we're gonna to do to make it simpler is we're actually gonna start with a letter L. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it a capital L, okay? We're gonna do it just like this. One, two. So far, not too bad, right? So take your time. You're gonna do one, two. For my older friends, you guys might know that this is a right angle, um, but if you're not there yet, don't worry. You'll learn all about it soon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of connect this point right here to this point right here, but we're not gonna use a straight line because then what's gonna happen is it's gonna look like a triangle. We want it to look like a chameleon's head. So chameleons almost have like a round Face. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a curved line connecting it. Now you can see if we finish that line and brought it down, it would look like a big capital Dippy Duck, the letter D. So why don't you try that? We did the letter L and a curved line to connect the two dots. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna work on our cha chameleon's body. So this is going to be a little tricky, but I'm gonna give you some tips to make it a little bit easier. The first thing we're going to do is we're actually gonna take the bottom line of our L and we're gonna keep going. So I'm gonna find that dot right here, that corner, and I'm gonna extend it. I'm gonna make it longer. Probably right around there looks good to me, okay? So if that's a little hard for you guys, take your thumb and you're gonna see that it's almost like two thumbs in comparison. Right, so if I have one thumb here, one, two. That's how long I want it to be. Now we're gonna do that curved line again to create another back part of the body, but we're gonna start a little bit down for, from our L. So that's gonna be right around here. We find the top corner, go a little bit down, start around here, and we're gonna make it ooh wee, nice and curved till we get to that bottom piece. A little tricky, but take your time. If you need to pause and rewind, that is perfectly fine. That's what we're here for on video. Okay, now you can kind of see something going on so far. That's pretty 
cool. So the first thing I want to do is make some legs. So we're just going to do two little legs because we're going to make this into a scene where our chameleon is standing on a tree branch. So we need some legs to make sure that our chameleon can hold on tight to the tree branch that it's living on right now. So I did two little legs just like that. Easy cheesy. Using that uppy umbrella or almost like a leaf shape to get us to those, to those feet. Now this next part. I will be honest, it's a little tricky, especially for my younger friends. So if you have someone at home that could help you, that's okay. But we're gonna practice by doing it twice. The first time, we're gonna make a spiral. And I know that's a little tricky and a little nerve wracking for some of my younger friends because they think it's really hard and that's okay. We're gonna challenge ourselves today. We're gonna be a little more creative, a little more adventurous, and if it works out great, if it doesn't, we'll just try our best and try again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with our first spiral for a tongue. Now, in case you don't know what a spiral is, a spiral is simply going from the middle and around and around and around. Now we're not gonna make our spiral that big, but we are gonna make something little to look like a, a tongue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put in my little piece of paper that helps so that way you don't see too much underneath okay so the first thing is I'm going to start on this bottom corner here for my chameleon that is where the tongue is going to come out so it's almost like where the mouth should be right on the chameleon so we're going to go here we'll go around and around and stop it almost looks like a shell it looks like a spee that a C that kept spinning and spinning but try your best remember we're going to start from here go out a little bit and then around and around just twice now the reason actually i'll give you a couple seconds and then i'll tell you the reason why i said this was going to be a little tricky take your time no rush you're doing great Now, the reason I said it was gonna be a little bit tricky is because we're gonna make two spirals to make a tail. Now, the tail spiral is gonna be a little bit easier because it's not gonna be as many roundabouts that we did for the tongue, but I want you to watch carefully. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start our first spiral down here where the body is, where the tail should attach. So you're gonna start at that corner and you're gonna go around and in, easy, it almost looks like a capital G. You don't wanna go much farther because we're actually gonna make it a thick spiral tail. And I'll show you why. But take your time, I'll give you a chance to catch up on the tongue and the first half of our tail. Okay, perfect, you guys are doing awesome. Rock stars today. So the second slightly trickier part is going to be making the top of the tail. So we're gonna go just a little bit above where we started our spiral and we're gonna follow the line we made. So follow, follow, but take a look. I made a space because we want our tail to be thicker than just one line. So we're gonna go around and around and around and then you're probably like well miss antuno i did it what do we do next easy cheesy little smiley face to connect them take your time we're just following the first spiral all the way around till we can connect it with a smile you guys are doing really really good Now bear with me, we got a couple other details to do. So the first thing I wanna do is now that we have most of our, 
our chameleon's body all completed. I wanna make that little tree branch that I had mentioned on. So the first thing I wanna do is start in between the legs because I don't want you to go draw a line through your chameleon and then it looks like the chameleon see-through. Chameleons aren't see-through, they camouflage. So that means that they're still on top of the tree. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making a line in between the legs, this right here. Now the reason I did that was because if I kept going, there would be a line on this foot, there would be a line on this foot, this part of the tail, and this part of the tail, and we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we did a line, now we're gonna skip. So we're gonna go over, notice I didn't draw, and go all the way to the end of the paper. Ooh, okay. So far, so good. Now this next part is gonna be a little harder. We're gonna do the same thing, but we have a couple things that we wanna make sure we don't color over. So I'm gonna go here and move over, and then I'm gonna draw a line here. But that's my tail, so I'm gonna stop, keep going, then start again. Oh, there goes the other part of that tail. I'm gonna stop and keep going. Ta-da! not too shabby. Now, we're gonna do one more line so it looks like a nice tree branch that our chameleon is living on. So I'm gonna start right underneath the line we made, but I'm gonna start at the tail, because this part is not gonna touch anything. We're gonna let it go just like that. Now see, mine went up a little bit, it's a little wavy, it's okay. Sticks aren't perfect, neither are we, and we're gonna get through it. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do my trick again, so that way I don't go through three parts of the tail this time. So the first one is, I'm gonna start here, hop on over, start, stop. Right here, I'm gonna hop on over, start, stop. Then again, I'm gonna hop on over, start, and stop, just like that. Now your chameleon is sitting on a tree. How awesome. I'll give you some time to finish up that line. Okay, so this next part is I'm gonna put some stripes on my chameleon because of course, Miss Antuna loves rainbows. So I'm gonna make my chameleon with stripes. If you don't wanna make your chameleon with stripes and you wanna make your chameleon all green or another color that you're picking, Pause here, and for my friends who do wanna make a rainbow chameleon, you guys can make stripes with me. If you don't, it's okay. You're the artist today, remember? So here we go. We're gonna start on the body, and I'm just gonna make some stripes. You know? Simple stripes, just lines. And I'm gonna do it on the tail, too. I'm gonna to follow all the way around. Now, if this part is tricky, like I said, it's optional. You don't have to do it. So I made stripes along my body, not my head, and then stripes around the tail. So far, so good. Now, next I would like to do just an eye because since our chameleon is facing this way, it's actually on its side. So it's not facing you, which means if I look at you, you should see two eyes but since they're not looking at you it's like they're looking the other way you're only gonna see one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one big circle right on his head and then a little black circle right inside almost looks like it's looking right at you now I'm just gonna do a couple little designs for our scene. The first one I'm gonna do is a sun right up here. Chameleons love suns. Now with a sun, you can do the corner sun that I know lots of friends like to start here, do a little corner, make some rays. I just like doing a little circle and adding some stripes all around. All right? Awesome. And then last but not least, I'm gonna do some leaves. So like what I showed you in my other picture, all I did was make almost like an upside down Y. The other letter we used to make our flower was an F. Either way, there were straight lines, so that way we can create those leaves right off of it. So here, 
I'll do curve line to a point, curve line to a point. Then I'll do another one. Curve line to a point, curve line to a point. Then I'm thinking I might be missing something over here. So let me make a line this way and I'll make a curve to a point and a curve to a point. And all of a sudden, you made an amazing chameleon. Now, if you don't have any crayons, any markers, anything to color your chameleon with, this is where we'll pause you. You did a great day drawing that chameleon. This took a lot of effort and I'm proud of you guys for sticking it through. If you would like to see how I turn this into a chameleon rainbow scene, Stay put with me. I'm going to do some drawing right now. And remember, if you completed this drawing, take a look on YouTube and type in Eric Carl Mixed Up Chameleon. I'll have the link right below in Google Classroom and in YouTube, and you're going to have such a great time watching it. It's super funny. I hope you like it. Thanks so much. And if you want to stay put, you'll see just how I color my colorful chameleon. Thanks so much.